Okay, so the next thing that we are gonna talk about is lids. So I'm gonna show you four different lid styles. These are probably the most common hand-built lids. There are other variations of lids, but these are probably um, the four most common hand-built. And um, so you will get to choose one of these. We are making one lidded container. So you'll choose the one that works best with your design. So for our first lid style, um, we are gonna actually enclose the drape. So I've got my drape here. So I've draped, obviously mine's a little bit smaller um, for saving clay sake. Um, you'll have the full six or more inches. I've attached my base. I've smoothed out all of my seams. I've added my coil. So just like we did for the base, I'm gonna go ahead and I already rolled out my quarter inch slab. I'm going to go ahead and flip my drape upside down just like we did for the base. I'm gonna trace. Not cutting through, just showing me where I need to score. Scoring my drape. Okay, slip one. Doesn't matter which one. Make sure you use a good amount of slip so that it actually sticks. And then I'm going to wiggle that on there. And then I'm going to cut out. So you can tell it's better if your drape is a little bit more firm. I wouldn't say it needs to be leather hard, but you don't want it to be super soft or it'll kind of collapse as you're trying to do this. It might get misshapen. So you might want it a little bit more firm. Okay, let me move this out of the way for a second. And so I have enclosed my drape. So again, I've created a seam just like I did at the base. So I'm gonna go around with my thumb Smooth that in. And then we can go with our smooth kidney as well. And we can make sure that that seam is really nice and smooth. Okay, now from here, obviously this is not a lid yet. So from here, we are going to create a unique cut all the way around and we're gonna basically cut the lid off. So this is a cut off lid. Okay, so I would take the time to really smooth this up, but for demo's sake, I'm gonna move on. So really make sure it's smooth. We are wanting to make sure that we're making our cuts at least half an inch down from the top because we don't wanna be cutting into that slab. So you're gonna kind of decide what you want it to look like it just cannot be straight across. So you could do a wavy line, you could go zigzag. Uh, the other thing that we wanna make sure of is that it isn't anything with undercuts. So what do I mean by that? So we don't wanna do anything. So like if I do a wave that spirals like that, if you think about that, if I'm cutting this lid off, I've essentially, um, I've interlocked those waves. And so when I try to pull my lid off, those two pieces are going to break off. So do keep in mind that you don't do anything that is going to kind of interlock or undercut. So pick something simple. So you could go zigzags, you could go waves, um, but I'm going to pick something and I'm going to go all the way around about half an inch down. So I think I'm just going to pick an easy wave pattern. You might do something, so I might do like a little triangle here just so that I know which way my lid goes. And then we wanna make sure that we meet up with where we started. Okay, so it should be a line all the way around. So notice I did not cut all the way through. I just made a mark to make sure that was gonna work. Check for undercuts, make sure you like it. If you need to alter anything, 
alter it. Um, and then if you want an X-Acto knife to make a real sharp cut, I can give you one. If you're nervous to use an X-Acto knife, you're gonna use your needle tool and essentially you're just gonna keep cutting deeper each time. You don't wanna just jab your needle tool in and cut because you'll get tons of clay boogers. So I'm following that line that I initially made and I'm just cutting a little bit deeper each time. Make sure that you stay on your line. So this is my second go around. And I would say about three times around and it should cut off. And you'll know, it'll kind of pop off. So I think we're going around for the third time. I can feel that it's coming off. I think it's easier if you have it upright. Um, so if you're going around upright rather than what I'm doing. Um, but I want you to be able to see it for the demo. Okay. So... My lid has come off. Now I still have some crumbs, so you do want to take the time and carefully clean up the lip. Okay, you just want to be careful that you don't alter how your lid fits. So yes, smooth, but don't don't change what this looks like as far as how the lid's going to fit on there. Okay. Um, the other thing that we need to notice, where I attached that top piece, we have a seam. So as we learned from attaching the base, when we have a seam like that, it's a weak spot. So we need a coil. So I'm going to go ahead and it'll be easier to see how I attach this coil. So I'm going to wedge. Shouldn't need a whole lot. And I'm going to squeeze. Unroll. And I still have slip and score marks on the inside. So that's good. Oops. So now I can go ahead and add that in. So I'm going to score this. And I still had slip and score marks. So I'm gonna add that. Okay, and then I wanna make sure you shouldn't see a coil like that. So I'm gonna take my thumb and this is the same thing that you should have done in the bottom of your drape. Smooth down into the lid. And then you wanna be careful, again, that you don't alter the connection so I'm being real careful as I smooth up and basically make that coil disappear so that it's reinforcing, but it's not like a coil just hanging out in the top. Okay. And then remember, you're always gonna do a better job. Craftsmanship is not my goal during demos. It's to show you the technique, and then you know that your craftsmanship should be much better than mine from the demos. Okay, so then you'll want to clean up the crumbs here. Again, being careful not to alter the lid connection. We're going to want that to be really nice and smooth. So there's your lid, and the lid should only fit that one way, okay? So then it's almost like a puzzle piece, but that cut off, that count, that acts as a stopper so that the lid can't fly off. So it should only fit on there one way. I added that um, little point to kind of tell me which way the lid goes on. So that is lid style one, a cut off lid. And you wanna make sure that you let your lid dry on your drape. Otherwise it could work funny and then not fit. So lid style one. Next is lid style two. 
Okay, so again, same as we just did with the cutoff lid, we are going to enclose our drapes. I'm gonna bring my slab back here. I am going to, same thing as before, I'm gonna do this a little bit quicker. So I'm gonna trace so I know where to score. Score. Slip. And I'm gonna wiggle that on, cut it out. Move this out of the way. Smooth in my seam. Again, I'm going fairly quickly. You wanna make sure that you are being more careful, paying more attention to details, paying more attention to craftsmanship. Okay, so I've smoothed that seam. So now in this one, I am gonna cut it straight off. So I'm actually gonna go grab a banding wheel. Okay, so I'm gonna take the banding wheel, and I am also going to grab a paper towel so that my clay doesn't stick to the banding wheel so I can get you a banding wheel. And we want to, um, we want to cut the lid straight off. So I'm going to hold my needle tool. And again, just like with the other one, we want to go about half an inch down. I'm going to hold my needle tool and I'm going to spin the banding wheel, being really careful that I stay in that line, that my line connected as we came around. I'm holding my elbow against my body. And just like with the other one, we're gonna cut through a little bit at a time. I can get you an X-Acto knife again, if that's helpful. And we want to keep cutting until it cuts through. Oops. Okay, we're cutting through. Okay, so now again with this one, we need a coil on that seam. We want to clean everything up. Okay, clean everything up. I'm gonna get rid of the banding wheel at this point. Don't need that anymore. Clean that up. And then what I'm going to do, I'm gonna set that aside. When I go to add the coil on the inside, I'm gonna make it extend up and make it have like a little lip. So, wedge my clay, squeeze. And I do wanna be pretty mindful about this coil. I want it to look pretty even because we're actually going to see some of it. Maybe roll it a little bit thicker. Okay, so let's see if this is going to make it all the way around. Okay, it is. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of flatten the top part. and I'm gonna score the bottom. And again, I still have my score marks and my slip in there. Make sure that you have enough. If you don't have enough, you wanna make sure that you add more. I'm gonna score my coil. I'm gonna sit it down in there and then you want it to extend up past the lip of what will become this lid, okay? So, I'm gonna use my thumb and I'm gonna smooth down in like we did before, but I'm being a little bit more careful because I need the rest of this coil to come up past the lip of this lid. 
Okay, so smoothing it down, but making sure that it comes up for, far enough past that lip of the lid. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth that all in. And then I'm gonna kind of make sure that that comes up. Yours should be neater than mine. And I'm gonna take um, maybe one of the silicone smoothing tools, maybe a modeling tool, and I'm gonna go through this seam and close that seam. And what this does, and you might wanna kind of lean that in a little bit. So I'll show you this close here in a minute. Okay, so that's what that looks like. So then this, if we can figure out which, let's see, there we go. So then that coil that we added, there it is, um, goes down into the container. So you want to make sure that, that coil goes down into the container and acts as a stopper so that our lid can't slide off, okay? Um, so you just need to make sure that it comes up enough that it will in fact stop the lid from sliding off, okay? So that's lid style number two. Lid style number three, I think um, it's maybe the simplest. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily the most glamorous, but um, this one's fairly easy. So with this one, again, I've got my slab back. I am going to get my next drape. Same thing as we've done the past two times. We're going to trace. And this time, we are not going to slip and score it. So we're going to trace and make sure you trace it. Um, really well. Um, if you want your lid to go past the edge of your drape, you could use this as like a guide. Um, I'm going to just make it dead on. So we want to really carefully cut this out. Okay. So we're going to cut that out. Move this to the side. I'm gonna smooth, making sure that I'm not making it smaller than my drape, okay? So I'm gonna take some time to smooth. You'll take more time to smooth. And right now we don't have a stopper. Right now there is nothing stopping this lid from flying off. So we have to create a stopper. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll another coil And this coil is going to go on the inside part of the lid. Okay. So this co coil is fairly thin. And what I'm going to do, I want to put it on the inside part of this lid. You just want to make sure that you are putting it far enough in that it won't run into the wall of your drape. So I'm just going to kind of measure to start with. Okay. I think if I put it here, it's not going to run into the wall of my drape. And then once I measure, I can score. Oops. And score. Slip one, doesn't matter which. wiggle that on there. Make
make sure that it's centered, make sure that it's not too far out on either side. And then I'm going to take my thumb, smooth that coil down in on the inside. And I'm kind of holding my finger on the outside so that I'm not pushing that coil out. Um, and this one, you definitely wanna make sure that you roll your coil pretty even and neat. Since this coil you're gonna see. And then on the outside, kind of taking my thumb, oops, pulling it down. All the way around. Okay, smoothing that in. Obviously you're gonna do better than I did. And then that stopper goes down in and it makes it so that the lid um, won't come off. Could probably put it a little bit further out. You just wanna make sure that it doesn't hit the wall um, and makes it so that your lid can't fit on. So again, just as like with the other lids, you wanna make sure that you let the lid dry on the drape. All right, and so there you, there you have it. So a slab with a coil, the coil stops the lid from coming off. Okay, and finally, our fourth lid style the stopper is actually on the, um, the drape part. So I'm still gonna go ahead and trace. So I'm still tracing, I'm not attaching. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out like I just did the last one. And if you want to make little marks on your jar, or maybe your pattern will probably tell how it goes to make sure that you know which way your lid goes. I'm guessing you can probably do something in your surface design so that it lines up, okay? So I'm not gonna attach this. I'm just gonna make sure that it does exactly fit that top part, okay? And then for this one, the stopper is actually gonna go on the jar part, on the drape. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll another coil. So good thing we just did coils. And I'm gonna make this coil fairly thick. So think like fettling knife, thumb, like we did for our coil pots. Roll. We want it to be nice and even. So make sure you're rolling your coil nice and even. And. Okay. So. We need it to go all the way around. Look at that. Okay. So it's going to go all the way around. I'm gonna go ahead and score all the way around. This part. And then I'll score my coil. Okay, score it all the way around. I'm gonna score the inside of my coil. Slip one, doesn't matter which. Just make sure you get enough slip that it's gonna stick. And then, I'm gonna drop that coil around there, around the outside. And I'm going to smooth it down into my drape all the way around. Okay. 
I know it looks kind of funny and out of proportion right now because that looks so big, but think about your drape tube is gonna be double the height of what mine currently is. Okay, so I'm gonna smooth that in. Okay, use your smooth kidney. Make it better than mine. Okay, so we're gonna smooth that in and then we're gonna kind of pinch up. So this is why you wanted your coil to be a little bit thicker because that smoothing got rid of some of it. This pinching is getting rid of some of the thickness. So we just wanna make sure that we have enough to do what we need. Okay, so I've pinched it up. I'm gonna take my silicone smoothing tool and I'm gonna close that seam. And we should still see the top lip of your drape. We need that there. That is what is gonna essentially act as the stopper, part of the stopper for the lid, okay? So yours should be much nicer, but I've essentially created a little shelf with a lip so that my lid sits in there and the coil lip that we made stops it from sliding off. Obviously without having a handle on there, it's difficult to get it back out of there. <laughs> so you would wanna add your handle first, but that coil stops it from coming off of there. So those are your four lid options.